So this is in Celle, Slovenia. This has nothing to do with uh, the, today's video, but I got reminded by this old castle of an uh, interesting old algorithm that was invented by a Polish mathematician, actually, but it's, uh, still Slavic, Slavic people. We're Slavic people, uh, right? So a guy was named Jan uh, Lukasiewicz. He, he was born in uh, 1878 or something like that. The algorithm he invented uh, is called the reverse Polish notation. So what does this mean? You have a simple notation, let's say a mathematical notation, three pl uh, 2 plus 3, let's say. That, that's, the, that's our notation. Uh, and uh, what he did is he converted this type of notation to a reverse Polish notation. And what uh, the reverse Polish notation of 2 plus 3 will equal 2, 3, plus. So what this means is that the binary operators, plus, minus, uh, multiplication, and division, are used after the uh, the uh, expression itself. So uh, when you calculate the two terms, two and three, uh, you then apply the binary operator after the expression. And it might it might look weird on larger expressions, but actually it, computationally it's faster than computing and uh, creating this binary tree on top of some expression, on top of some mathematical expression. Dijkstra then created uh, the shunting yard algorithm to convert any our or any uh, expression of our infix uh, infix notation uh, to this reverse Polish notation to be easily calculatable with the computer. And uh, furthermore, uh, this uh, expression not only works with uh, all the binary operators, it works with brackets and with some other operators, like powers and XORs and whatever you want, okay? It's a very nice notation. Read it, check it out. We get reminded of these old uh, notations, old algorithms, and we use it to, to this day. Pozdrav, uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, see you in the next video.